gonna be doing a huge collective haul. This has been accumulating for a little bit now, probably almost two months. My makeup is pretty minimal, minus this crazy um, bam lip and my hair is a complete wreck. But like I said, I needed to film it. It's a beautiful rainy day here, and I just thought it was a good day to film, minus the lighting. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna start off with non-makeup goodies. So if you only wanna hear about the makeup, I will have like a little number here that shows you where to skip forward for makeup. But I went to Target, Bath & Body Works. I have online things that I'm gonna show you, Sephora, Butter London, so many different things. So if you guys follow me on my vlog, then you know that I've been trying to eat a little bit better. Not that I'm unhealthy, just that I need to really watch my calorie intake again and start exercising again. I started going to a trainer this week. I just started again, and I'm really trying to lose more weight and kind of get a little bit more in shape before the holidays arrive. And one of the things that's been helping me start this you know, healthy trend off is Fit Tea. And I know a couple YouTubers have been talking about it. Yes, they sent me this, but I was really excited to get sent it because I wanted to kickstart my weight loss. And this has really helped me. It's the 14 day detox and it's all natural ingredients. It's a loose leaf tea, so it's a bunch of, oh, I think I have some in here, yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it, it's all loose leaf. It actually smells really good. And I got this nifty little tool at Bed Bath & Beyond for $2.99 where you can put the little leaves in this little um, contraption. I should have brought it to show you, um, but I'll insert like a little clip of it or a picture of it. And then I just stick it in my hot water and it brews my tea. And I drink this every morning before going to work. And you're supposed to do it for 7 to 14 days. Um, well, it's a 14-day detox, so really you should do it for 14. I've only done it for 7 days so far, but I've already lost 2 and a half pounds. And um, I really do think this has helped me because it helps your digestion. It helps you um, burn fat. It helps your weight loss. So if you're wanting to get a kickstart or you just want a really good detox tea, I definitely suggest This product is from Adore Me, and this is a online website full of amazing, beautiful lingerie sets and also like comfy, like more sexy PJ sets and everyday bras, but also very beautiful sets. I really thought it was a great value and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Um, I know for sure you can do the VIP experience with them, which is like a monthly subscription. Your first set, if you decide to sign up for that, is $24.95, um, and every sixth set that you purchase with them, you get for free. That's only if you sign up for the monthly, and I believe you can skip a month if you end up not wanting to purchase that month. I didn't personally sign up for that yet, so I just got a set of PJs and a bra set that I want to show you guys, because I think... They're so, such good quality. And for the price, it's totally worth it. First of all, look at this adorable package it came in. That's what the inside of the box looks like. And this is also the reason I wanted to show you this. They have really great sizing. So if you have a larger chest like I do and you have a hard time finding really beautiful, like, you know, bra sets at Victoria's Secret or anywhere, this is where you need to go because I'm so impressed that they had like larger chest sizes and underwear sizes too, like I think it goes into like the plus size for sizing as well. So that's really different and awesome in my opinion, especially for the price point. So the first set is really beautiful. You guys probably won't be surprised at why I picked this. Um, I should clip it so you can see it a little bit better. It's lacy and mint. It's absolutely beautiful. The boobs are probably going to look ginormous though well. So it's so pretty, it has this really pretty lace detail on the front here. And then it's very soft, silky material. It's not padded at all, which I don't need extra padding, so I don't like that, but it does have a nice strong underwire. And it's adjustable, there's three adjustments, which is great. And they are really actually comfortable, even though they're so beautiful as well. So I thought that was just gorgeous. It does come with an underwear too. I haven't worn this yet, but it's in the bag still, so you don't get like grossed out. But it's just a matching underwear with lace on the bottom. Really, really cute. But to be honest, I was super excited more for my PJ set because I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> but I really love sets for PJs that aren't nerdy. I like really like sexy looking PJ sets that 
are wearable still. I don't want just all lace or anything like that, so I really love this one. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret very much so, but um, this is actually in a larger size, which is nice because it actually has a full cup, so it's going to actually cover my whole boob. That may be TMI for you, but a lot of these like sets, I'm like popping out, and that's not what you want. <laughs> that's not comfortable. So this set is like this beautiful maroon kind of color and really pretty lace. There's no support in this though, it's just pretty lace. And this part here on the bottom is more see-through lace and then there's a little cutout right here. So it's very sexy but also super comfortable. And then the set comes with these really soft, comfortable pants and there's lace on the bottom of them. So I definitely see me purchasing more of these sets in the future. I'm going to show you the latest Bath & Body Works goodies that I purchased. Um, they had a 2 for 22 candle special again, so I ended up only getting two. I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for that because I definitely wanted more. Because um, I've already been burning through a good deal of my fall candles. And they also were having buy three, get two free on their Bath & Body Works products like their body care or buy two, get one free. And so I decided to do the buy two, get one free because I, I have a lot of body care still, but I really wanted pumpkin scented ones. And so I got the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel and also the Triple Moisture Body Cream in the same scent. The other scent that I ended up getting for free is the Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow Comfort Triple Body Cream, OMG. If you like the, um, is it Fala Vanilla? Something Vanilla. No, Vanilla Be Noel from Christmas. And you like pumpkin? Just combine those together and that's what this smells like to me. Like a roasting marshmallow with pumpkin. I don't know, it just smells so incredible. I feel like I need to buy more of these before the season's over because it smells so good. The two candles I got is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. I'm pretty sure Andrea... Um, I'll link her channel down below, showed this candle and told me I needed to get it. And I think a few, of you, a few of my subscribers here, a few of you guys told me, what the heck, how come you didn't get that candle? It smells so good. So I got it. Oh, it literally smells like caramel and pumpkin together. It just smells so yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. And I got another um, backup. I have, think I have only two. This is my second one of the sweater weather. And it has the beautiful new lid. This just smells like a really yummy man rolling around in leaves with you. <laughs> I probably should have said that on here. Okay, the next thing is Target. I went there, I think it was last week, and I found two, maybe three clothing things that I wanted to share with you. First, this was on clearance, and I just had to get it because it had pineapples on it, and I just thought it was the cutest pattern. It's just this really cute cardigan with pineapples on it. Isn't that adorable? And I got it for $11 and it's by the brand Morona. And I did get it in an extra large because I like my kind of sweatshirt things like this to be a little bit bigger so when I wear clothes under it, it's not too tight. So I thought that was adorable. Hopefully I'll be able to find that still in the sale rack. And then I also got some more yoga pants on sale for only 10 bucks. I thought that was a steal. I probably should have got more, but trying not to just wear yoga pants every single day of my life. So, but I have been working out more, so I do need more like workout pants. They look just like the Victoria's Secret ones to me. They don't, the Victoria's Secret ones kind of sink, suck you in a little bit more, like make you look a little bit slimmer than these. Um, but these are the brand Mosino. They're usually 15 and I got them for 10 and it has this really cute pattern on it. They're just like regular leggings. They're the um, bootleg kind of leggings. And the last clothing item I purchased was actually inspired by Shades of Cassie here on YouTube. She showed these in her haul from Target and I, I just wanted them right away. Um, they're perfect for fall and winter. They have them in all different kinds of colors. I really liked the styling of this and that's why I got it because they have these elbow pads with a different striped pattern on them. And then when you roll up the sleeves, which I like to do with these kind of shirts, it has that pattern in it as well. So it's gonna look so cute on. Um, and so you can see on the inside, it has that different pattern. And they're so comfortable and they're a little bit high-low or just like really, really long. You can see that now. 
And because of that, you could totally wear these with leggings, <laughs> which Melissa loves, and boots. Wouldn't that be such a cute outfit? And a scarf? Can you tell I really want it to be fall? But they are kind of expensive for Target. I think they're like 22 bucks. So that's why I only got one. I'm hoping for them to go on sale sometime in the future. Move on to the rest of the goodies I got at Target since they're makeup items. I just want to share two jewelry items with you first. The first so the first item is from Twisted Silver. You guys know I love their jewelry. They actually are relaunching their new site on the 24th of September. And every purchase that you make, you get these really cute free earrings. I'm going to show you a close-up shot. They, um... I love that Twisted Silver is made here in the US and it's made of all recycled materials. And I just think all their pieces are so unique, like things that you don't really see out shopping and they're always really beautiful statement pieces that people will ask me about when I wear. So if you haven't checked them out before, I'll leave a link down below. I think these earrings are super, super cute and I'm excited for their new launch and to see all their new pieces. And last jewelry item is this ring on my finger. I got this from Jewelman.com. I haven't talked about them in a while. When I first started YouTube, I was obsessed with them. They're like a jewelry monthly subscription service. It's $29.99, and every month they'll give you new picks. And they're all very, very good quality. Everything that I have from them has lasted so beautifully. Especially, I wear their earrings a ton. I'm wearing the matching earrings to this ring. And these earrings are called the Very Audrey earrings. I wear them a lot in my vlogs. They look like daisies in my opinion. Like they have a little yellow stone and then um, cubic zirconia like diamonds all the way around. And that's what this looks like but in a bigger setting and it's a ring and it's absolutely gorgeous. It fits me so well. Um, their sizing is pretty accurate. I think I got a size 6 in this ring. Um, I think they have as low as a size 5, so if you are looking for good quality, non-tarnishing pieces, they always have sales too, so again, I'll link them down below. They have a very Audrey necklace that goes with this, and I'm kind of wanting to purchase that, but holding off, I just know I always wear rings, and these together are just so pretty. Okay, moving on to the rest of the goodies that I got at Target. First is the new Maroon 5 CD obsessed. You guys know I love me some Adam Levine. I love me some Maroon 5. I saw them, is it two years ago now? I think it was two years ago at um, the Fountain Blue in Miami for the iHeart Music Festival, iHeart Radio Music Festival, and they were amazing, and I love the CD. It's on replay in my car, in my home. I love it. I especially love the songs Animals, and it was always you. Um... And there's, they also did a remake of Sex and Candy. If you are a 90s child, then you remember that song. I was obsessed with that song. I think it was in, I don't know if it was in junior high that that came out for me. But I remember my mom being a little bit like, mm, I don't know if I want you to sing that song. <laughs> it's a really good song, though. And if you guys are a Maroon 5 fan and you haven't gotten this yet, grab it. I got mine at Target, so I got the bonus extra song. When I go to Target, I always have to stop at the dollar spot. I don't know about you, but there's always some cute little goodies in there that catch my attention. And this time, it was this pack of 360 fall themed stickers. I really love decorating my Erin Condren planner and putting cute little things like these stickers on my monthly planner page, and these were just so perfect. I actually gave three sheets of these to my bestie Eliana because she also has an Erin Condren planner and likes to decorate it. But look at these like really cute stickers, like they're adorable. I haven't used them yet because I've been waiting to show you guys. One thing I got from Target is definitely going back soon. It was a total miss for me. It's the Maybelline Brow Drama Eye Studio Sculpting Brow, and this is in the deep brown. I thought when I saw this, you know, it's brand new, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to try that out because I love Give Me Brow from Benefit, and I thought it might be similar. It's not. It's really not. So... It is bigger packaging and it was only $6.99, so I was like, hook me up with that because the Gimme Brow is not $6.99. But this applicator is such a fail. I really don't know what they were thinking with this applicator. It has a huge ball at the end and then tapers off to be super skinny. Um, I guess I was just expecting more for this. It's very messy. It makes my brows crunchy. Um, it doesn't really do what I like it to do. I want to kind of make my brows look fuller and have tint to it. This just is a mess, so I don't suggest it. 
Maybe if you just want to very lightly comb your brows down, but it may still be crunchy. If you like that, then you'll like this, but I don't. And something that you guys already know about, because talked about it in my vlog, is this Maybelline New Matte Lipsticks. I am obsessed with this specific color. I don't have any other of the mattes, so I'm not going to do a full review on these. But I can tell you right now that they feel amazing on the lips. They don't dry your lips out. And I've really been enjoying matte lipsticks that are more of a balm consistency so they don't dry your lips out. This one is the color Touch of Spice number 660. Comes in more of like a frosty package like this. And I found this at the very top of the Tarte display in its own, you know, spot. That's what the color looks like there. And I've been wearing this non-stop. So pigmented. Is that really beautiful 90s Kylie Jenner lip. Um, I know people are tired of hearing about that, but I've really been enjoying that. And I want to hear about that because let me know. I totally, 100% want you to go grab this one if you like that kind of lip. They're $6.99. Yes. And I kind of want more colors of this formula because the formula is wonderful. And since we're talking about lips, I might as well just move right into what's on my lips right now. I actually have a combo. One of my Butter London Lippy Moisture Matte Lipsticks in the color, what's the color? Ruby Marais is on the bottom to give me a little bit of moisture because those are matte but have a really great moisture feel to them. And then I have Max Diva Matte Lipstick on top of that. The MAC lipsticks are so beautiful, but their matte formulas are so drying, so that's why I have the Butter Lungeon underneath it. This is a super vampy, beautiful shade for fall. Um, I've just been hearing about it a little more recently, and I don't know why I didn't have it in my collection earlier. It's a really beautiful, deep maroon kind of red. It's not, it's a vampy red, it definitely is, but it has that berry undertone, so it's not too crazy. I don't think so, at least. And I paired it with this lip liner. This is not new. I've had this before. It's the Riri Talk That Talk lip liner from MAC. Um, it's just a really gorgeous dark purpley maroon shade as well. So that's what I have on my lips. And I got this from MAC when I did my Back to MAC. You can bring back six items that are empties from MAC and you get a free lipstick or a free eyeshadow, and I chose to get this. So since I brought up the Butter London Matte New Lippies, I will talk about them next. I have two shades. Um, I think I spoke about these in my vlog when I first got them, and I was so impressed right away by the consistency and the packaging of these. Um, I have two colors, like I said. The first one that I'll show you is the one that I have on the combination on my lips, the Ruby Murray. Look at this really beautiful packaging. Very sleek. I mean, Butter London never disappoints me with their packaging. Very nice weight to it as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And... These are mattes, but they have that moisture, buttery quality to them. So they do not dry your lips out. And this, if you want a variation of the Diva lipstick with it being a little bit more sheared out, a little bit not as intense as the What's On My Lips right now, then you will absolutely love this color. And these are available at Ulta right now or on Butter London's website. And the other color I have, which is the one I've worn the most out of the both, is Blowing Raspberries. This is just that perfect pinky raspberry bright color. It's been really beautiful for summertime and if you just like that bright pink lip, you'll absolutely love this. One more lippy that I wanna share with you is from my friend Stephanie here on YouTube. Flourish XO is her channel name. I'll link it down below. She sent me a really sweet belated birthday gift and one of the items was this Lee Swatier feline lacquer. Um, it's a really gorgeous lip. I think this might be limited edition because it has this like um, leopard packaging to it. I don't know if it is or not because we don't have Lee Swatia here. She lives in Canada, I believe, so that's why she was able to get this for me. Okay, let's just speak to the packaging first. Are you kidding me with this leopard design and rose gold cap? Oh my god. <laughs> I fell in love right even before I put it on my lips. And this is in the shade, I think it's just feline. So the applicator is a little bit slanted. This is so pigmented and velvety and is also matte and very, very, very long wearing. This reminds me a lot of the um, Lime Crime velvet lips that are just like this.
So my camera died. I'm hoping that this is in the same spot. And let's just move on to the other makeup items I purchased. I've also recently purchased the Naked 2 Basics palettes. Um, I'm planning on doing a full review and tutorial, although so many people are doing that, so I don't know if you guys really want that. Let me know down below. But I actually really, really love the taupier shades in this palette. The Naked Basic one was not my cup of tea, and I actually don't own that. But I really, really love these shades and think that they're perfect for a neutral eye or to accompany other palettes. And would totally suggest that I definitely think it's different than the Naked Basics. Um, different enough if you wanted to have both in your collection. More present items that are also sold at Sephora that I wanted to tell you about are from my good friend Sadie Kins 21 here on YouTube, um, my friend Sadie, and she sent me the Unlawful NARS blush, which I have already recently spoke about as a favorite blush of mine. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It has such a beautiful kind of burnt, like terracotta coloring almost to it with some pink. It does have glitter, so if you're not a fan of glitter, you're not going to like this because it does transfer onto the cheeks a little bit. Not like a disco ball, but just slightly. It is such a beautiful shade, though, that I feel goes beautiful on so many different skin tones, and it's a perfect shade for fall. The other thing she sent me was the Ciate London set of nail polishes. They're super glittery and beautiful. I'm going to show you close-up details of each one of them. They're little minis, and I can't wait to try them. I actually haven't put them on my nails yet, but I am looking forward to them. They're so beautiful and sparkly. They're going to be so pretty for the holiday season, too. And the last makeup items are these Cover Effects setting powders. I have been a little bit obsessed, and I don't think I've shown me using them on my vlog for some reason. I just don't talk about the powders I'm using that often on my vlogs when I talk about my makeup of the day, but I have been using the matte setting powder from them. I also have the illuminating setting powder, and they're both in the shade Light. What I really enjoy about these setting powders is that they have a little bit of color to them, and there are darker shades as well, so they aren't going to come off white on your skin or leave you with any of that ghostly look. I really, really like how soft and blendable these are as well. Um, it comes with a good deal of product, as you can I don't want to really show that because it's going to get all over the place because it's, you know, a loose powder, and those are usually a little bit messier. But I just use a really big fluffy brush and set my makeup with it, and it really does help my makeup last throughout the day. Last makeup item is something that I was blown away by, and I can't wait to do a full tutorial and possibly a full review on these. It's the ColourPop eyeshadows. Now, I have Miss Lola Lynn here on YouTube to blame for getting me addicted to these. Um, Laura here on YouTube. Who else was talking about these, and I was just like, I need them in my life. There are at least two other YouTubers that have been talking about this, and I keep seeing swatches of them, and my jaw just drops because they look absolutely gorgeous. So first of all, I have six of them to show you, but look at this beautiful box that it comes in. These are just sleeves that come off, so it, you end up with this really gorgeous mint box. Obviously, I love it. It's a really nice, hard, heavy box, too, and then the shadows slide out like this. So I'm totally going to be keeping my shadows in this gorgeous box because I don't want to throw the box away. I think it's so pretty. So like I said, I have six shadows so far, but I know that I'm going to be ordering more in the near future because I've already fallen in love with them. I actually have one on my eyelids right now, and you will see in my next upcoming vlog that I wear them almost every single day. And what's even more amazing about these shadows is that they're only $5 a piece. And believe me, once you get your hands on one of these, you're going to want them all, just like me. So a lot of the colors I picked out are more metallic, glittery shades. I do have one matte shade, so it is possible to buy more of a satin matte shade from them. I just gravitate towards more of those shimmery, metallic shades. The first one that I actually do have on my lids today is I Heart This. It's supposed to be a lot like the Chanel Illusion de Ombre shadows. I have one, and I think these are more closer to the MAC shadows that I actually do like. I can't think of the name of them. I'll put it right here. They just came out with a new collection of them. And they have that very soft consistency, very bouncy, so when you press your finger into it, it kind of almost molds to your finger. The pigment is absolutely insane. I'm going to do close-up swatches of these. You can use these with a brush. I like using them with my finger because I feel like I get 
such a beautiful, strong payoff when I use my fingers, and I'll just kind of like dab it onto my eye. Um, but I have used them with a brush, and they pick up beautifully with a more synthetic brush. Um, yeah, and you definitely want to make sure that you are closing these really nice and tight because they will dry out. They're more of like almost like a gel formula. That's how they feel to me. They feel almost, when you put them on the eye, it's almost cooling. I can't explain it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shadow, like nothing I've ever used before, completely honest here. That's why I want all of them. I just think they're insanely gorgeous. And the lid just twists on like that, and then you have this really beautiful packaging. The next color I have is a really gorgeous rose gold, and it's called Sequin. I'm just going to show these really quickly since this video is probably like a million hours long already. The other color I have is Cricut, which is a really gorgeous plummy purple, deeper purpley shade. Really beautiful. I also have So Quiche, which is a taupe but has, it's such a multi-dimensional shadow. There's like purple tint to it. There's a more green tint to it. It's just like a very multi-dimension shadow. I, I'm so impressed by it. It's so gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that. I also have On the Rocks, which is a really beautiful bronze. And the last one I have is a matte shade and it is called Mittens. And it's just like a deep brown matte. And these are called, I don't think I mentioned what they're actually called. And these are called the Super Shock Shadows. And they really do super shock you. They're just incredible. And I can't wait to get like 50 more of them. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial using these, let me know. All right, I told you that was a mega haul. So hopefully you had a snack or you paused it and got yourself a snack because that was a long haul. And thank you for sticking through the whole thing. Let me know what your favorite item from the haul was. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.